So AMD ran into hot water yesterday and Ryzen has an update. Plus we've got some interesting box art for Vega. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Over the past couple days, users have expressed anger of the latest Radeon GPU driver update. Apparently it automatically added a shortcut to your desktop titled Quake Champions and leads to a beta sign up for the game when clicked. There is also no way to remove it upon installation. For obvious reasons, AMD has taken some pretty heavy flack for it, and in a pretty speedy reply, Terry Makedon addressed the issue in a tweet early this morning, stating, and I quote, Some of you didn't like game icons installed, so we updated the Radeon software package without one. We heard you. Sorry. Now, I will say that personally, I don't think it's a huge deal, and after going through some comments, Mr. Makedon explained that they didn't make any money off of it and felt users would be happy to get exclusive access to the beta. I'd like to know if this means no one will actually get the beta now, but it more seems people are upset with the way it was done. And I can certainly understand the point of those taking issue with the fact that even under custom settings, there's no option to stop it from being added. Either way, it's clear AMD was quick to change and should at least be commended for that. The next story today is Vega, specifically the box art. Now I know what you're thinking, who cares? Hold on, there's one interesting detail. Originally from Informatica Zero, you can see AMD is working extremely close with its software, which isn't a surprise considering the beta sign up and even the news last week on their newest engine designed with Ryzen in mind. Now, the obvious question is whether the game comes with Vega or is simply used to talk how well optimized it is. Either way, as video cards suggest, there's a chance the GPU launch could coincide with Quake Champions. Next up is more AMD news, as they've released their newest chipset drivers. This actually adds the infamous Ryzen Balance power plan. AMD has already released the plan in a zip file, but it's now an actual driver update on AMD's site. Check the link in the description to get yours. So before I get to the deal section, Razer has announced a new mouse called the Lancehead Gaming Mouse. Well, it's actually two, the Wireless and Tournament Lancehead. Both are ambidextrous, offer Razer's chroma lighting, and use Omron mechanical switches that give a lifespan of 50 million clicks. The wireless version comes in at $139.99 and packs in Razer's new AFT tech, which essentially allows it to determine the best frequency to run on and can switch depending on how clogged the signal is. The battery life when wireless is said to be 24 hours when the lighting is turned on. The wired version costs $79.99, as well as both offering 16,000 DPI, so basically so fast it's unusable. I kid. Maybe there's some MLG player out there who can. One pretty obvious benefit is the left-handed friendly design and should be a great option for those who are looking for a well-performing wireless mouse. Either way, both will be hitting virtual shelves next month. I asked everyone if you wanted to see deals, and almost everyone replied with a resounding yes. So here I am with today's deals. All of them will be affiliate links in the description below, so if you're interested, i definitely appreciate it if you use those links as it helps me out a ton. First up, we have a DisplayPort to DVI cable that's 28% off on Newegg. This is great, as I know plenty of people still use monitors with DVI ports and many newer GPUs don't. They do sometimes come with converters, but if you've got two monitors, well, you're out of luck. This deal runs until the 30th, so make sure to pick yours up while you can. Lastly is a Gigabyte 8 Gigabyte RX 480 for $219. Definitely not a bad deal. And since we know the 480 is incredibly similar to its 580 brethren, you're not losing much by going with the older card. While that ends today's news segment, before I go, make sure to follow me on Twitch by clicking the giveaway link in the description, as not only can you get another entry in the giveaway to possibly win one of seven gift cards, but I'm going to be going live tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern U.S. time. I'll be streaming Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and I'm inviting everyone to join me. It's going to be a ton of fun. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.